the, the Women, Women's Business Network and the Barrington Chamber of Commerce for this honor, this award. Um, it's an honor to be in the company of these women, Jody, Sue, and Deborah. So as I, as I was preparing for this, I was cleaning out some drawers last week, and I came upon some notes that I took at a PTO President's Council author visit in 2008. Um, and it was Madeline Levine whose book, The Price of Privilege, made a huge impact on me and made me, at the time, reflect on my own parenting. There are many lessons from her book, her books, actually, um, but the idea that stuck with me at the time is that sometimes we parent out of our own desires or experiences. In fact, I wrote down, quote, parents need to deal with their own stuff or it will affect their kids or they'll take on our issues. I took this as a call to change the lens on how I view certain parenting experiences, to take off my lens of my own experience and to look at the situation from my child's point of view. Was I encouraging them to do something because I wish I had had that opportunity? Did I want them to continue something because I wish I had the talent that I saw in them? These were constant questions that I asked myself as I raised my girls. And many times when, when I was introspective, especially in a situation that was causing conflict, I realized that I had my lens on. So it was the conversations like those that I had with friends at that time. I was a parent at Lyons at the time. My girls were in fifth and first grade, and I was about to become the PTO president at Lyons. Um, so it was those conversations with friends that really confirmed that her visit had struck a chord in our community and that we needed as parents and as community members to have more conversations like the one that her visit inspired. And so that kind of was my springboard into a lot of the work that I've done. So as I continued my volunteer work in the schools, this desire of mine to learn how to tackle the issues of parenting um, in these challenging times, um, um, I was, drawn to the, I was drawn to efforts in my volunteer work that would provide us as parents with learning experiences, the ability to share and provide and learn from one another. And sometimes, to our surprise, as parents, we were having similar challenges and might have been hesitant to talk about it, even with our own friends, fearing that maybe it would put us or our child in a better light. So these conversations were welcome um, and eye-opening for, for many of us. And we needed more ways to connect and to learn from experts and each other. And that's what led a lot of the choices that I made when I was volunteering as a PTO, in the PTOs and in forming LINK, and then finally um, be strong together. So this is what led a group of parents to form LINK Barrington and ultimately a group of parents and community leaders to form Be Strong Together. So I want to make it clear that throughout all these leadership, leadership experiences that I had, both as PTO presidents with Lane and now with Be Strong Together, I stand with countless parents and peers and community members and leaders that have worked tirelessly beside me and, with, and all have had incredible dedication. I've been blessed to work many times with brilliant, creative, dedicated, and caring parents, individuals, community leaders, um, many of whom started just as peers that I was working with but real quickly became close friends. It's only been working together that great things have been accomplished. And I'm very grateful to too many to name, but they include every PTO board I ever worked on, the PTO presidents that I met and worked with, my friends from Lake Barrington, and finally the Be Strong Together board. And of course, I need to say a special thanks to my husband, Dave, and my girls, Colleen and Claire. Um, while I find tremendous, a, a tremendous sense of accomplishment from my volunteer work, my greatest joy is my family. So thank you very much. <laughs>